Welcome to Civilian Jeeps. I'm Jake, and today we're going to be going to four decommissioned fire towers in the eastern Tennessee area in Greene County and Cock County. Now, today with me, I've got my neighbor, JP. I've got one of my buddies in a TJ behind me, and I think another one of my buddies in another TJ that's uh, going to be with us as well for the first one or two towers. First tower we're going to be going to is Hall Top Fire Tower in Newport, Tennessee. We're gonna see all the different aspects of them today. We got small ones and we got big ones. The second one is gonna be Meadow Creek Fire Tower. It's in Del Rio. And then there's Rich Mountain Fire Tower. That's in Paint Creek. And there's Camp Creek Bald Fire Tower on top of Viking Mountain. We're gonna be going to all those, shooting some cool content and taking the Jeeps. So let's see what we can get into. After grabbing a biscuit from a local country store, we ended up in the back roads of Tennessee, about an hour from the house on Crumb Hollow Road. We quickly turn left on the Hall's Top Road. Now once you're on Hall's Top Road, you're going to have about three miles until you come to a fork in the road, which is Stone Mountain Tower Road. Once on this road, you're going to take a right and go about another three and a half miles on this unimproved surface. Now this road is doable with any four-wheel drive vehicle, and I would even venture to say that smaller SUVs such as Subaru Outbacks could do this as well. Anything with a decent uh, amount of ground clearance to it, I feel like could easily do this. Not technical whatsoever. Now. Once you're on this road, you'll see that the views, especially in the wintertime when the foliage is off the trees, are well worth the drive. Now, you're going to have various sections where it's going to be a little wood, more wooded than others, but the views are just absolutely breathtaking. Now, when you see the tower up in the distance, you'll know the sheer size of it. This is going to be the biggest and tallest tower that we see today. Now, as I'm coming up on the tower, I notice that they've taken probably the last 10 planks off of the steps going up into the tower so we're not going to be able to go up into it um, i don't want to do anything sketchy so i've decided that i'll just take the drone and show you some of the features of this tower as well as talk about some of the specifications but i will say that whenever i get to the gopro video i didn't have a setting co completely right and it looks like i'm in a fishbowl so just bear with me on that i fixed that after this tower now the information that I've gathered here today is from the National Historic Lookout Register. If you'd like to view this for yourself, you can go to nhlr.org and then pan over to the View Lookouts and the Tennessee Lookout. And this is Hall's Top Fire Tower. It's US 1577 and Tennessee Tower 39. It sits at an elevation of 3,610 feet above sea level. It was built in 1936 and it's administered by the U.S. Forest Service. It's accessed through the Stone Mountain Trail, which that's the trail that I went up in the Jeep. Now, one thing I would say about this tower is unfortunately, like I mentioned, you couldn't go up in it. They don't want you to go up in this tower. I think it's uh, kind of in rough shape. The boards are not as solid as they used to be. But the view from the top from you're seeing from the drone is uh, absolutely incredible. So I still recommend that you check this tower out because the view that you're going to get from here is uh, well worth the drive to this tower. And it's just cool to see an old historic site like this still in its natural habitat. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because I managed to crash my drone into a pine tree. They have taken the steps out. So unless you want to get kind of sketchy and start your venture up the side here, and this rail is a little raggedy. But technically you could still get up in it, but they don't want you to get up in it. And there's probably a reason for that, so I wouldn't advise it. Anyway, for the Jeep people here, that's my Jeep. Most of you know about it. 8 inches on 37s, LJR. This is Chase's Jeep. He followed behind us. That's 4 inch, 4 and a quarter, I think, on newer Rubicon JL wheels, 33s. It's a 99 Sahara. It's a stick. Might have to do a video on that one one day. And then Zach's Jeep. It's a 3 inch Old Man Emu on 31s. It's a 2004 Sahara. Pretty clean. This is his daily driver. He's one of the crazy ones. Upon leaving the fire tower, I noticed that there was a cemetery off to the right. This is Hall's Top Cemetery, founded in 1833 and contains the Hall family and some of their descendants. Now, some of them were born as early as the 1700s, and it goes all the way to deaths in the 1900s. But out of respect for the cemetery, I didn't film, but I thought this was really neat. 
Now venturing back down the mountain on Stone Mountain Tower Road, we decided not to take a left and go back down Hall's Top Tower Road. We decided to take a right and continue on Stone Mountain Road, and this took us to Hartford, Tennessee, which I had actually never been to before. But Hartford was a cool little place to see, very backwoods in the Cock County, Newport, Tennessee area. But once in Hartford, we uh, went on into Del Rio and made our way to Meta Creek Fire Tower. So we made it to Meadow Creek Fire Tower, and unfortunately the gates closed. And uh, I respect the Forest Service um, gate closures. I'm not gonna try to bust it open or go around it or anything like that. So uh, this is as far as we can go. However, I did try to take the drone and go to the tower myself, because I've been to this tower multiple times. I know its location. However, whenever I got up there in the drone, it wasn't picking up a GPS signal. So I didn't want to possibly lose the drone by not having a good lock on it and it limits your altitude, and I was afraid I might hit a tree. So I really didn't get a good view of the tower. However, I will post pictures of the tower of what it looks like in this video so you can see. Now, the next one we're gonna be going to is Rich Mountain Fire Tower. It's uh, up the road from here, and I know for a fact we can get to that one. So let's go to that one and see what it has to offer. Now, even though we didn't get to visit Meta Creek Fire Tower, I would like to go over a few of the specifications just so you guys will have them. The elevation of this tower is at 2,858 feet above sea level. It's administered by the U.S. Forest Service. It was built in 1926 and was just a platform mounted between three chestnut trees. Apparently, this is the fifth block structure that stands as what we call the fire tower today. Now, it's located in the Cherokee National Forest, and it too is considered to be in Cock County, Tennessee. And I really recommend checking this tower out if you've never been there before, because this one, honestly, I think in my opinion, has some of the best viewpoints around the area. It's one of the shortest ones. Actually, it is the shortest out of the four we're going to today, but I love this tower. Now from Meta Creek to Rich Mountain Fire Tower, you're going to take a right on the Paint Mountain Road. Then when you come to a T, you're going to take a left on Lower Paint Creek Road. Follow the creek until it comes to a T in the road. Take a right on the gravel road, which is Hurricane Gap Road. Then take a right on the Rich Mountain Road and then follow that all the way up to the base of the fire tower as you see here. Now I would like to point out that I misspoke at the beginning of this video. I said that these towers are going to be in the Eastern Tennessee area. While well, they are also, or this one per se, is in the western North Carolina. This is Madison County. It sits on the Tennessee and North Carolina state line. It's located in the Pisgah National Forest. The lookout is just off the Appalachian Trail. Now this tower offers a 14 by 14 living cabin with a catwalk all the way around it. It's 30 feet off the ground with a metal structure. Now, it's administered by the U.S. Forest Service with a cooperative of the Appalachian Ranger District. The tower number in the registry is U.S. 727, and it's NC 21. Now, this tower sits 3,670 feet above sea level, and it was built in 1932. And I think this tower offers some of the best views. Now, it's a close second to Meta Creek. I like Meta Creek a little bit more. Can't tell you why, just something about Meta Creek I do like. Now, if you're gonna visit this tower, you might wanna go visit Hot Springs, North Carolina afterwards for some good food and uh, good culture and all around a cool place to visit, as you soon will see. We made it to Rich Mountain Fire Tower up in the National Forest. Pretty cool one, to say the least. So let's climb up on in it and see some of the views. It's pretty steep, but it has been modernized. It has new metal railing. Out of the fire towers in this area, this is one of the most secure. You can feel it sway a little bit for sure. That's baby stuff compared to the Rockies. Oh, yeah. 
who it's time to go to the Rockies. Oh, I'm being they're awesome out there. <laughs> this is one of those like smart lenses would come in handy and you could like make Well, we've seen Rich Mountain and we're leaving that tower to head into Hot Springs, North Carolina. It's not too far from here. Rich Mountain Tower is actually in the North Carolina. It's right on the line from Tennessee to North Carolina, right on the border. So we're gonna head over here to Hot Springs, grab some food, grab some much needed gas because these Jeeps like to suck it down on these uh, four service trails. So anyway, let's uh, head over to Hot Springs and then to Viking Mountain and Camp Creek Bald. Hot Springs, North Carolina is a well-known destination for outdoor enthusiasts for rafting, biking, uh, hiking. Uh, the Appalachian Trail actually goes right down Main Street, but also has some good places to shop and eat as well. So if you're in the region, especially visiting fire towers, I recommend you check it out. So we've left Hot Springs, North Carolina, went and got a couple burgers at the Iron Horse Station. Uh, there's not a, lot, a whole lot of options to choose from in Hot Springs, but Iron Horse has a great burger if you're ever around that area. Be sure to check that out. So now we are racing the sun. I'm trying to get to Viking Mountain, which is Camp Creek Bald Fire Tower, before the sun sets. So hopefully I get there right about the time the sun's setting and get some really cool drone footage for you guys. As I wind my way up Viking Mountain Road, I began to wonder if I was going to make it before the sun dropped off in the distance. But not only did I make it, but this is the most memorable time I think I've ever had at Viking Mountain. And I've been here a lot. The sunset was absolutely gorgeous. Check it out for yourself. Now this next tower is Camp Creek Bald Fire Tower. It sits on the North Carolina Tennessee state line. Google, Google Maps actually shows it to be in Tennessee in Greene County. However, it claims it's in North Carolina. It's US 719 NC 13 in Madison County, North Carolina. Elevation is 4,844 feet above sea level. Built in 1928, administered by the Forest Service with the cooperation of the Appalachian Ranger District and Andrew Johnson Amateur Radio Club. It's uh, originally a 14 by 14 cabin, but it has been reconstructed into the round structure that you see here in the 1960s. Now, it's no longer active. It has been partially restored by the Forest Service and the radio club that I mentioned before. Now, this tower is uh, iconic in the Greene County and Western North Carolina region. They used to have a sh ski chalet up in Jones Meadow, but it is shut down and been torn apart. And this is a staple for the Greene County region of places to go and places to see. I just love it up here. So behind me is Camp Creek Bald Fire Tower. It's actually closed off. You can't go up in it at the moment. We did beat the sunset and we got to take part in that. And that is absolutely crazy as you can see from the drone footage. But I was really worried that it might be dark by the time we got up here, but we beat it, we made it. And checking out this cool tower. Now I've been to all these, like I've probably stated before, except for Hall's Top, which was kind of bummer that we couldn't go up in Hall Top Fire Tower, the first one that I visited. But Camp Creek Bald is a really cool one as well, because it's a circular and it, it has the living quarters. You can go up to the first platform. Let's get you a really good view. Oh yeah, that sunset is crazy. JP's taking it in. Oh yeah. There's Zach. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Do Random Stuff with Jake on Civilian Jeeps. And I'm probably gonna go, maybe do some night wheeling, maybe go down to the lookout that's below the mountain here. And it's starting to get a little cold, so the heater in the Jeep will be nice. But if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. And when it comes to Jeeps, keep it classic. Now, after leaving Camp Creek Bald Fire Tower, we went down to Jones Meadow, where the old ski chalet used to sit before it was torn down, I believe in the 70s. Now, I get the drone out one last time to get some cool pictures of the Jeeps flexed out on the rocks up at the top. And I just do a panoramic, and I was like, hey, I'm going to get a cool shot of the Jeeps. Well, I'm looking just at the drone, not my surroundings, because I didn't think there were any trees around. Well, I smack it into a pine tree, and then I start freaking out and throw in reverse Terry real quick. 
and <laughs> I end up hitting another tree. And I'd say it's probably about 35 to 40 feet up in the air. Well, I ended up going and scaling up the side of this pine tree and getting a stick and smacking the drone. And then Zach managed to catch it at the end. So thankfully I got my drone back. Uh, it's not busted or anything wrong with it, but it was quite the sight of me up in this pine tree. I wish I could have recorded it.